Chris from Huckle Loans Equipment. Uh, we've been in business for uh, 70 years now. Uh, my grandfather started it in, back in 1950, selling used cars till 1967, and that's whenever he was approached by Ford uh, to sell Ford tractors. And from 1967 till 1987, uh, we were a Ford dealership. Um, and then after that, uh, my father took over the business, and in 1990, uh, he bought out the local uh, Kubota dealership, uh, Roy Dipburners and we became a Kubota dealership in 1990. Uh, since then, we've uh, become a full-line Kubota dealer, um, and then I joined the business uh, with, uh, with my business partner, uh, Dennis Murphy, and uh, yeah, we've been growing ever since, so. <laughs> yeah, my grandfather started with a very uh, small shop, a 30 by 50, uh, with one bay, um, and then in uh, the mid-80s, they grew to, uh, to add a few other uh, buildings. Uh, connected to the first uh, garage um, and then in 2008 uh, we expanded the showroom uh, to show uh, be able to bring in a few tractors and, and expand the parts business and then in 2018 we added a full new shop in the back that was uh, that went the back shop went from 60 by 40 to uh, 66 by 106 with 28 foot walls and overhead crane and everything and uh, hopefully we'll show some pictures of that there to give you a good example of what that looks like back there because it's a very fantastic state-of-the-art building. So, um, Since uh, my grandfather is 92 years old and he grew up farming, uh, if you ask him, he was always a farmer first and happened to sell tractors or used cars second. Uh, we're situated on a century farm where it's been in uh, one family uh, for over 200 years and that would be the Huckabon family. Um, there is about 150 acres here, and then my father uh, has another 100 acres that he farms as well. My grandfather generally ra raised beef cattle here on the on the on the farm, uh, and then whenever he was unable to do it, it would switch to cash crop uh, about five years ago. Um, in the last 10 years, uh, we've grown from a, a, an eight employee uh, dealership to now we have over 15 employees uh, uh, currently employed full time. Uh, we have uh, three full time salesmen, uh, five full time mechanics as well as a few delivery gentlemen. So we're going to take a tour of the facilities to kind of give you a behind the scenes of what, uh, what action goes on here at Hucklebones. So whenever you first come through the door here at Hucklebones, you'll be greeted by uh, generally usually in our parts department you'll have Graham, in our service department our service manager is Tony if you have an issue with a uh, Kubota tractor. Um, we also have uh, three sales offices whether it be myself, Dennis or Derek to greet you and help you in a, in a new purchase. Uh, we have a full line of brochures. We also have a, a rather large uh, showroom that will have current models on display, whether it be zero turns in the summer or uh, snow blowers in the winter. Uh, we also have a full rack of toys, so whenever you bring the kids in here, they'll be completely occupied. So you can see behind me, we have a full supply of uh, parts uh, for all our Kubota products that we sell. Um, we're very lucky with Kubota, they have overnight delivery uh, for every part, any part that we are missing. They have a fantastic parts network uh, available to us. We pull in parts rather quickly, uh, depending if it's a, a no longer available part or a hard to find part. Uh, sometimes we've seen parts come in uh, in less than a week from Japan, uh, flown in direct to our to our dealership to help out the customer in need. Whether you have a small little zero turn or uh, you know 170 horsepower Kubota, uh, we should have all the parts here to help you out. So as we brought up previously, this is our brand new shop. Uh, we've been in for just a year now. We went from a 60 by 40 building to a, to a 66 by 106 building with uh, 28 foot walls with an as you can see behind me the overhead crane. Uh, in-floor heating to help the guys out for uh, whenever they bring stuff in. Keep, create, keeps it a nice warm atmosphere back here. Uh, off to my right you'll see the lift. Uh, that's all brand new. That helps with the 50-hour services. The building is completely ICF, uh, so to help with the heating uh, and keep it nice and warm. Uh, we have uh, four full-time mechanics back here that do an awesome job. Kubota's put on many service schools that they've been well attended by our mechanics. Uh, we have over 40 years experience working on Kubota's here in the shop currently. So whenever you drop off your Kubota for either service or uh, repair, you can count on our techs to do a fantastic job and get you back up and running as quickly as possible. Yeah, so not only whenever you come in, you'll see our rather large inventory of tractors that have currently been set up and ready for action. We also have a lot of inventory stored away, so that out of the sun, uh, we, uh, we tend to have our zero turns uh, arrive here about six months before, uh, before set up and sold. Uh, we also have a container loads of tractors show up at pretty much any time of the year. Uh, we like to keep them in here out of the sun so that they're uh, nice and bright orange whenever you receive them. Uh, some people always wonder uh, how they arrive. They're always, uh, they come right from Japan in containers. Uh, you'll 
see that some of them will have the front axles out of them. Uh, sometimes the cabs are off, it all depends on what model, but uh, there's always quite a bit of setup to do to get your, uh, your unit ready for action. This is our, uh, what we like to refer to as our new old shop. This is actually the original shop that was attached to our building. It's the, like I keep referring to it as our 60 by 40 shop. It, uh, it's where we used to do all the work and as you can see from, uh, from the tours we've given you, that this was quite a small building compared to what we have currently. Uh, it's, it's helped us with our expansion to be able to provide better service uh, to, our, to our customers. Uh, as uh, the last few years we were in here, we were starting to notice we were slipping on that as uh, we were just too jammed up and uh, basically the mechanics were tripping over each other. Uh, so that's why we decided to expand our shop uh, to what it is currently. Um, as you can see, uh, we use this as storage for some of our overflow as well as whenever a unit is purchased it is parked in here uh, to keep it ready for, for delivery. In the winter we like to keep our service trucks in here out of the weather so that again uh, everything gets improved for, for that uh, customer experience whenever we drop off that tractor to you.